I paid $400 for a comic book collection. Did I overpay? All right, guys, we are going to get into this collection quickly. If you could, please hit the subscription button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell. It will let you know when I post content. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and you're going to want to leave a comment because I want to know what you guys think. Did I overpay for this collection? The cool thing about buying these smaller collections like this, because there's not a tremendous amount of books here, not a lot at all, is I kind of get you guys involved, and I like doing that. You guys were going to probably see about 80% of the collection. I do flip through most of it, and I do have a few extra things at the end to talk about. And again, I spent $400, so I want to know what you guys think. So without further ado, let's get in the car, and let's head out. Let's take a look at a short box of books. All right, guys, we are off to check out a little collection. I don't think there's a whole lot in there. Um, I, I don't know. I have nothing to say. I'm not even sure what's going on with this. All right, so we are flipping through here. Nothing crazy in this batch of stuff. A lot of miscellaneous silver. Some early Strange Tales, some early Justice League. I guess some World's Finest, some Daredevil. We've been coming across a lot of Daredevil recently. I don't think there was a 1 through 10 in there. Yeah, 71, some Avengers. There's a nice book. There's a nice book, some Silver Superboy, and some Modern. Did jump around. Some Marvel Superheroes, Brave and the Bold, Adventure Comics. That's a fantasy masterpiece there. Fantasy Masterpieces, Tales of Suspense. And some more Superboy. Some more Tales of Suspense, then some oddball stuff here. There's a Golden Age book. Sparkler. All right, some Lost in Space and a lot of GI combat from like the 80s. Nothing over the top here. A lot of GI combat. <laughs> Some Unknown Soldier, some more Silver Daredevil. That's a nice book. Some more Silver Daredevil. Some Tech. Hey guys, we're on our way back. And yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a major, major home run, but there were some cool books in there, a little Silver Age I recorded, so I'm sure you saw by now. Uh, so they are coming home with us, so let's discuss it. All right, guys, you just saw probably somewhere between 65 and 75% of everything. I do have a few other things here I wanted to show you. Some really cool stuff that's actually going to stay in the personal collection. Wait till you see these two things. They're not even comic books. Uh, but first, let me show you these guys. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these G.I. Joe Action Force comics. They're big. They're oversized. They're actually really pretty. Um, the colors inside pop. I mean, really nice looking stuff. But they don't go for a tremendous amount of money. I don't think I happen to strike gold with any of these. Some of them, well, this is a cool, this one I may have to look up. This is Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. So that one might be a couple dollars. But there's nothing, oh, this one's kind of cool cover too. Um, awesome for a G.I. Joe collector. Not very expensive. They may be, I, I've seen them go for about $10 a piece, but I am going to look some of these up. They actually are really uh, nice covers. This one, sl Sleigh Ride. Santa's on this one. So there's a handful of these, and it, this is a Destro. This is a really cool cover. So these were kind of cool. They were in there. I've never seen these before. I've never come across these before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. We've got eight of those in there. And then he did this guy. So you saw basically almost everything, but he, I guess you could say he was a little bit of a speculator in the 90s because he picked up, and I'm going to show you a picture now, 27 copies of Spider-Man number one, the silver edition, 27 copies and not a single one will hit 9.8. They're all about 9.2s to 9.4s, which are fine. You know, each one of those are $10. Are they all going to sell? Probably not. 
but they're ten dollars a piece so you're looking at 270 dollars there these gi joe books these action force books are probably about ten dollars each you're looking at maybe another fifty dollars there are they all gonna sell probably not um obviously you guys the best two books in there were the adventure book so the first one was the first appearance of red guardian you saw that in that short box we're talking about that and then the second one which was the best book of the entire collection was that first appearance of dane whitman i think it's avengers 47 the nice yellow cover the next book is the Black Knight cover. So with him coming in the Eternals, and I think Kit Harrington has signed on for multiple movies, expect these to climb. Now, the last two things I wanted to show you are really, really cool. I'm gonna put them in better bags and boards, and they're staying in the personal collection. I just, I have to. So the first one, let me see. Okay, this is the 1964, and they're not very expensive. They're not, they're probably like 20 to $40. The 1964 Yankee yearbook. Look at Yogi on the cover there. So that's really cool. So this, I'm going to clean this up, put this in a nicer bag and board. And not only did they have the 64, or he, here, I'll take this one out of the bag. He had the 1963. How cool is that? This one's a little more beat up. The spine is split. But the 1963 Yankee yearbook, I mean, come on. Look at some of the names in here. I mean... Pepitone is in here, Johnny Blanchard, of course, Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, unbelievable, awesome thing, it's not in great shape, but again, it's for me, it's going to stay in the personal collection just to say, hey, I've got a 1963 and 1964 Yankee yearbook, so kind of cool stuff. That's the whole collection. Now, I do want to hear from you down below in the comments, did I overpay? Usually what I try to do is double my money. Are we going to hit that? Do you guys think we're going to double up? Do you think we'll hit $800 on this collection? Do you think we'll hit $600? What do you think is coming back? And you got to try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind, you never sell everything. You never do. It's impossible. You eventually can bulk it out at an extreme discount, or you can cut the value, you know, cut the price down to try to move it, but you're never going to sell everything so please let me know what you think down below i love to hear from you guys again this is why sometimes these littler collections these little 400 500 collections where i could blow through the whole thing and show you ba basically all of it i can get your feedback so thank you so much for watching i can't wait to read these comments please let me know what you think and as always keep it comics